Hey, what's going on YouTube family and welcome back to the Baking for Business channel. I hope wherever you are watching this that you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are making sweet potato cheesecake cookies and I love this because usually around this time fall everything is like pumpkin but I think sweet potato is something different especially if you're more familiar with the southern states. Sweet potato is primarily what people love and so real quick didn't want to hold you, just had a few business tips that I wanted to share with you guys. Number one, if you've ever made any of my past cookie recipes, this sweet potato cheesecake cookie is a little bit smaller than others, and that's for one or two reasons, and y'all, it is so divine. Number one is because I know for those who bake for business, around the holidays, you guys are making holiday platters be it cookie platters, sweets platters, and stuff like that. And so I wanted something that could actually complement your platter so that you can add other items to it and not necessarily be the star of the show. It is a star in its own right because it is so moist and so gooey. Just, oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that, baby. Oh, it is so good. And that sweet potato flavor just bursts in your mouth. So I hope you guys really enjoy the recipe. I'll go over the ingredients like I always do an ingredient overview. And then after that, you'll notice the recipe is kind of in real format. But don't worry if it goes by too quick. The sweet potato cheesecake recipe is actually below and there's a link to it as well. Thank you guys all the time for always watching the videos, trying the videos. And if you have a suggestion that you would like me to cover a recipe to help you in your home baking business, be sure to drop a comment below and I definitely don't mind doing so. All right, y'all, let's get to these sweet potato cheesecake cookies, starting with the ingredients. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bacon for Business YouTube channel. So sweet potato cheesecakes are on the menu today. Let's go ahead and go over these ingredients. We're starting off with all-purpose flour. After that, we have some cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, clove, baking soda, and salt. And then we also have one stick of butter, as well as our brown sugar, and our white sugar. I love using a combination of sugar for uh, these cookies just because uh, it really amplifies the flavor. Not to mention we're using one egg and of course the star of this recipe, we are using sweet potato. Now just a few tips for the sweet potato before we get started. I did not use a whole regular sweet potato. I actually used a can. Um, and the reason being is because it's super convenient. This is the exact can that I use. We only need half a cup. The can is already sweet potatoes and water and sugar. That's it. It's, it's no preservatives, it's gluten free, all natural. Plenty of people down here in the South use these to make canned and yams, canned sweet potatoes. Matter of fact, drop a comment below and let me know <laughs> what do you call them. Do you call them yams or do you call them uh, sweet potatoes? Either way, once I've scooped out half a cup, what I then want you to do is take a paper towel and just get out any excess liquid because we don't want that excess moisture going into our cookies and that is a really, really important step for this recipe. All right, these are all your ingredients as well as your preparation tips. Let's go ahead and get into the recipe. The ingredients for the cheesecake filling are super simple because you only need two. We're using four ounces of cream cheese. I just followed the marker indicator to make sure that I got the proper serving size, as well as we're using one eighth cup sugar. And don't forget, all of the ingredients are listed down below on this YouTube video, so be sure to click the link to get the full recipe if you need it. You add your butter, white sugar, brown sugar, go ahead and give that a good mix. Add your egg and then mix it again. And next comes the star to show sweet potatoes. I'm using a can because it's a little easier, baby. But if you want to bake you a whole one, just like your grandma and them did, then you go for it. You're a better woman than me. Go ahead and mix that sweet potato batter up in that mixture and add that nutmeg, clove, ginger, cinnamon baking soda, salt, honey, we add in all the spices from the ancestors. Add your flour and then go ahead and scoop out your dough, baby. It scoops so nicely. Roll it in that cinnamon sugar mix. Flatten these cookies because we got to get them ready for that stuffing. And then go ahead and make that cheesecake filling. Whip it. Whip it good. Pipe it. And then go ahead and pipe your little dollops just like that. 
freeze it to its rock hard, baby. Stuff it in that cheesecake cookie center and ooh, ooh put some salt in your mouth. <laughs>